Hello, thank you for joining me for another review. Right, today we're going across the pond to the Flying Dog Brewery and this is their canine winter warmer. I assume this is the 2017 version. It's coming in at 7.4% ABV and this beer, as you've probably already seen, is brewed with cardamom, vanilla bean and cocoa. Um, so yeah, not had this beer before. Um, there's two editions of this beer listed on Untaps, the, the 2016 and, and this year's vintage, the 2017. Um, so yeah, um, it, ta it tastes, it, it looks very nice um, what, what they've used in this beer. So I mean, I'm not too kind of, um, I've had a few winter warmers, the English style ones, but and, and maybe one or two American ones, but I'm not really, I need to have quite a few more to to get me up to speed what they're actually what they're all about you know um, it, there is there is a bit of a commercial description thing on the side of the bottle here if you want to uh, pause and read it but uh, what else have we got then it's got just the ingredients etc this is obviously a f uh, 355 ml bottle 12 fluid ounce standard American size um, it's got a best bought before the 13th of October of 2018 by the look of it. So got this beer from Beers of Europe. Um, thank you again to Dan. My Beers of Europe man. There's the bottle cap. A kind of a yeah, one of their 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 main emblem. So let's get this beer out there into a glass and see what we get. Any smoke? Yeah, there we go, Joe. Woo, look at this. Excellent stuff. Schmolken. And smoke in the glass when I poured it. So this is actually saying on untap this is a five point or sorry a seven point five percent ABV beer and on the bottle it's a seven point four. Um I believe the 2016 vintage is the same um, ABV as this, so maybe this is a 2016 edition. I don't know. Anyway, beer in a glass. It's a nice kind of, um, yeah, kind of a cherry, cherry kind of uh, mahogany copper, dark amber colour. When you put it up into the light, I know it looks like jet black there. Um, but there is lots of them kind of ruby hues coming through. It's a one finger, kind of just off white head. Um, some larger bubbles around the outside of the top of the head and then creamy on top. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's leaving a little bit of alcohol legs as I swirl the beer around the glass. Let's get an aroma then on this uh, winter warmer from Fine Dog. I did say they're out of Frederick, um, Maryland, on the east coast. I think they're just south of um, Philadelphia, I'm not sure. Definitely getting that kind of spicy cardamom edge to the beer. Slightly kind of vinous almost. It's got more of a kind of a, a slight kind of wine aroma to it. I'm not really picking up much of the chocolate. Yeah, it's more of a kind of a malt tone to it with a, a little bit of spice rather than a sweet vanilla and chocolate. We'll see what it tastes like. Cheers. Now on the taste, the chocolate is there. A real nice creamy milk chocolate and the spice, the cardamom works so well with this beer. Wow, that's, that's decent. There is a slight kind of ashtray edge to it. 
I know it sounds odd, obviously I've never eaten an, a, a, an ashtray with lots of, you know, um, cigarette ash in it. So, but it kind of, it's got that kind of aroma and the taste, the taste, it tastes like the aroma of that ashtray. Anyway, moving on quickly before I burn and crash. Yeah, the, the, the aroma is... Um, I mean, this beer's been out of the fridge for probably an hour and a half or so, so it's at room temperature. It's not too kind of in your face on the aroma of this beer, but the flavour, wow. It's almost like two different beers. You smell that, and then someone... Yeah, try that, and then... You'd think they were different beers. There is that sweet kind of creaminess coming through. There's a nice, the vanilla is there, the vanilla beans. The spice is fantastic. But when you first, for me, when you first try it, it's just that creamy milk chocolate. And then it goes into the spices of the cardamom. It's a very kind of easy drinking beer for a, a 7.4% ABV beer. You'd never think it. You would never think it. You could, you'd probably want to drink a, a two or three of these. And you, you'd, you'd know you'd had a beer by then, of course. There's no alcohol burn. Very smooth mouthfeel. Very creamy. Very Moorish really drinkable it's one of them beers I'll definitely buy this again I might see if I can get some more if it hangs around until the end of January because I'm going away um, on the 7th of um, 7th of uh, January I'm going away I'm going to Portugal so um, if there's anything of this beer left it's it's worth picking up um, beers of Europe so yeah, really, really impressed with this one. The aroma is very underwhelming, but the taste is, yeah, it's it's there. It's amazing beer sometimes. You can have the, an amazing aroma and a really kind of average beer, or you can have a really, really poor... Poor? You can have a really poor um, aroma and an absolutely amazingly tasting beer. It's weird how it works. So we're up to another one finger, another, <laughs> yeah, another one finger of head on this beer. So damn good. Oh, that is right up my street. Really good. So as regards to rating them for me, I, I really do think this is a fantastic beer. And I wish I'd got more than one bottle. But yeah, love it. Love this beer. Um, for me then, I, I, I love it to the point where I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. It's a 10 out of 10 beer. It's fantastic. Um, there's probably, I mean, it's the best winter warmer or winter. I mean, it's saying it's a, yeah, a winter warmer and untapped. And then, does it say it's a. Is it saying winter warmer? Okay, so yeah, lot the 2016's a winter warmer. I say it's a winter ale, which is quite amusing. K9 winter ale 2017, so that kind of needs changing really. But it hasn't got it for uh, the 2016, so it's a winter warmer. I mean, I know some winter warmers in, in America can get a little bit higher than this ABV. Um, there might be a higher ABV winter warmer but would the flavour be better with that? Not necessarily I don't think but again I'm not experienced with this style of beer I've had a few now and this is by far the best I've tried so far so if you've had this one from the Flying Dog Brewery, this is their K9 winter warmer I don't know what vintage this is, I'm guessing that it is the 2017 version but um, they're saying on Untapped this is 7.5% and this is 7.4% which would suggest it's a 2016 vintage. I don't know. Um, 
I don't know. Whatever. It's um, it's got the date on the bottle. So uh, there is a there is a code here somewhere. I can't be bothered to go into that. Um, there is a little commercial description for the 2016 vintage, which I'll just throw in there. Uh, ale brewed with cardamom, vanilla bean, and cocoa. Uh, the recipe changes every year. Um, I love, I love for it. I love for it does not. So there you go. They obviously love it a lot too. Um, so I'll give you the scores for Untapped for this year's vintage. Um, 2,065 ratings coming in at 3.59, which I think is really low. Um, there you go. Um, this beer was added on to Untapped on the 22nd of October of 2017. Um, then last year's version, it's eight, at 8,488 ratings coming in at 3.63. So really odd that no, not one of the vintages, there's only two listed. Um, A uh, vintage of canine uh, with ginger and cranberry, so this is definitely a 2017 vintage, so there you go. Anyway, if you've had this one before, put your comments down below. If you haven't, it's definitely worth picking up. It's fantastic. I really love it. Thanks for watching then, and check out my American Craft Beer playlist down below. Um, it's building up a steam now, which is cool. It's always good to try different things from the from across the pond so thanks for watching then and i'll see you on the next review and it might be a bit shorter cheers